Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here. Welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 21 career mode here with Crystal Palace. As we start to get down to the nitty gritty of this season, we're going to try and fly through as many games as possible in this episode and get us roughly about one episode away from finishing season number one here in Palace. It's great, man. We're going to be getting season one done. We did have that Batshuayi injury, so it's instantly going to make me feel like we're probably going to drop down the table a little bit this second half of the season you lose your star striker it's always going to be rough three months absolutely good if you didn't see that go back and watch the last episode and the entire series if you haven't watched any of it so far if you are new around here though as well make sure to smash that subscribe button as well as hitting the like button go on to enjoy the video i appreciate the support as per usual boys i know you're already going to smash it on this one as well we're 10th at the moment with 41 points Let's see how many points we can get this episode, considering we don't have our star striker. It'll be interesting to see. I'm going to kick this one off by taking on Brighton. Let's see if they can manage to bag some goals. They're having a rough time this season. 20th place at the moment. But when you look at the squad, it's nuts that they're 20th place. De La Cruz, unbelievable signing. Gonzalez, unbelievable signing. Like, this team should be doing really well. They've still got Ben White. It's really weird how badly they're performing. This is going to be our starting 11. Of course, no batch why Eddie and Ketia comes in for this one, as well as Mateta up top. We have rotated a little bit because we are playing 20th in the league. Sorry, Brighton. But it makes sense to rotate just a touch in this one. Mitchell and Ferguson coming in at fullback positions. I want them to start to grow a little bit. Van Bergen's going to start and so it's Alisi as well out wide. And Jamie Shaq comes in in the centre. Well, there'll be a big focus in this one on Jean-Philippe Mateta and Mr. Eddie Nketiah, the new signing, to see how they get on against this Brighton side because I need them to bag goals. It can't just be Batshuayi this season. It needs to be them as well. Hopefully, they could do something today. I'm a little bit gutted because he's sixth in the top goal scorers, Batshuayi. I'm not saying he would have got any higher. It's not a bad spot to be in, is it? Dela Cruz now. He's got tricky feet. And Coyate's done well, but he's going to land straight to him. What's tossing out of a bio doing there? And he's made a mistake instantly. Dela Cruz will make this 1 0 Brighton. But what is tossing doing there? I have to question just what he's like. He touched it back into him. Oh, what an idiot. And Bergen now. Oh, that's a lovely play. Cut that back inside to Shackleton. Jean Philippe Mateta. Try and find Eddie and Ketia. That's good play. Back to Mateta. Can't fire off his shot. Can Eddie and Ketia get to it? He can. Jamie Shackleton now. I oh, can't find the pass. Struggling for a little bit of position. Mateta again. Just couldn't quite get his shot off. Good ball in from Richards. Tossing his head down is to Lalana, and they make it two. A double mistake from tossing Adi Abayo in this one. I, pff, no words for him. No words for him. The mistake earlier for Dela Cruz is, and this is his second mistake of the game to allow Adam Lalana to score the goal. Palace is sinking without a trace, and we haven't looked good going forward. It's a great ball in. Tossing's header straight to Adam Lalana. A good finish. Well, there we go, half time, and nothing but frustration in that first half. Brighton haven't really done all. They've had two shots. Oh, sorry, three now with the Gonzalez one right at the end. But the first two shots they had, they scored them, and it's due to mistakes and. And that back line from, uh, from Crystal Palace. Just so frustrated. We'll double sub to start this one. Reed Val's coming in in the back line, of course. You can't stay on the pitch, Tossin, when you play that badly. We've also had to bring off Elisi with injury. So we've got Eze out wide. It's not a bad substitution, let's be honest with ourselves. He's more than good enough. In fact, I was just trying to rest him today. But... We'll do the substitution. We'll hope that he can come in and have an impact, to be honest with you, because right now I'm very worried about how this uh, how this game's going to go. And I genuinely think we're going to lose this one. I can't seem to find no space in the back line for us to find valuable opportunities. Lavojevic spotted Jamie Shackleton. Had to score it. Very poor shot from him. He needs to work on his shooting, to be fair. Does so well to get into that position, but how often has he been there? He scuffs it again. Look at that. Absolutely scuffs it. Oh, Dela Cruz has broken through. We've been unlucky again, to be honest with you. All three goals, we've been so unlucky. But we're losing 3 0 to Brighton, and this will not go down well with the fan base. It really won't. You just can't get the luck here. It, it, Dela Cruz has been a problem, but it blocks off of Reed Valve straight into his path. 
And there we go. He's in. And we've been punished today. Full-time whistle here and thoroughly thrashed. The players should really hold their head in their hands. We had nothing going forward. I've got to be honest with you, but I can't even remember a great opportunity. We had zero going forward without Batshuayi, which was my worry. And that's the worst we've defended all season. Without a doubt, the worst we've defended all season. Two mistakes from Tussin Adebayo, giving them two goals. And then the third one was just extremely lucky. Um, but Dela Cruz caused us too many issues today and we were nowhere near good enough. Well, you simply can't get battered by 20th in the league. You just, I mean, you just can't. It's not the way you're supposed to play. Three shots on target. They scored all three. I told you, they didn't have much. They didn't dominate possession. We did. They didn't have much of the ball, but you have two defensive mistakes like that. Tossing certainly is going to be dropped now. You can't make two. And uh, yeah, very, very disappointing that one. So some good news and some bad news. Alisi is going to be out for four weeks. It's not the end of the world. He's the backup left winger at the moment, but I'd still rather have him in the squad. But Matty Grimes is returning now. He had a really good start to his time here at Palace. And I'm hoping he can really help us because he even scored a few goals and I need goals right now. No rotation for this one then. Full strength 11 to take on Newcastle playing very similar to Brighton. So that's not a good sign. They're also not doing too well in the league. They're down in 15th. So we've dropped 8th place now to 11th. This is the kind of game you just got to keep picking up points, right? Let's be honest, boys. And this has to be one of the games that we look at and say... We need points from this. We really do. And someone to step up and bang in a couple of goals. Eddie, Eddie, please. We will be facing a very informed Callum Wilson today. So that, that is not good news. That is the baddest of bad news. Because Callum Wilson is a, he's just a goal scorer, isn't he, at heart. He just is a goal scorer at heart. Potentially maybe someone we could look at in the future. I will look at the sides to get relegated and potentially look to pinch players off of them. It makes... Just makes sense, right? Makes sense to try and look at those teams to try and pick up some of their players. But let's just try and have a good result today. We've had a pretty good season, but it's a mixed bag going forward. But Wilfred Zahar's back in the team today, and hopefully he can do some uh, do some damage. Lavojevic has done really well there. For Eddie and Ketty, could turn. He couldn't. He's been tackled. And Eddie's time at the club so far has uh, it's not been very fruitful, has it? It, it? It's not been what he would have expected it to be. But let's give him time to settle in. It's not a bad pass there to Wilf. Couldn't get it across to Tavernier. Tavernier did pick it up in the end, and it's, it's a bit sloppy. We're not getting much luck at the moment, are we? And this is the prime opportunity for a counter-attack. And they do have some pace here in Miguel Alver Alberon. Oh, that's bad again. We would have had handball. Surely, ref. Kiate will force that for a corner. What can Newcastle do from this corner? Bright start for them. They do have some height. But Eze was going to win that. He didn't. Can we just get the ball back? Just try and get it away and just have a bit more possession. We're really struggling. They're closing us down very, very quick there. Callum Wilson now. Let's not have him on the ball. Tompkins can't rescue it from him, though. Armour on now. God, he's got such good footwork. And eventually, we do get it away. This could be an opportunity. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Out wide to Eze. Eze still going. Can he do? I'm going to try and lift that in. Eddie and Ketty can't get to it. Nice bit of play, though. Mayer ends up winning that back. Mateta now can turn. Jean-Philippe Mateta! Oh, what a goal! What a goal from Mateta, and that'll make it 1-0 Crystal Palace here at Selhurst Park. And we need big things from Mateta. I'm still undecided if we'll try and pick him up. It's a great turn from him. Really was a great turn. Lovely finish as well. Our oh, mistake here. Found Jean-Philippe Mateta. Oh, Eddie and Ketty has passed again. I just need Eddie to be able to pass a football. That's probably his biggest issue right now. That's probably my biggest issue right now is Eddie and Ketty cannot pass to save his life. If he makes that pass there to Jean-Philippe Mateta, we're in, and that's two. And then we can not rest easy, but we're in a much better position. Well played there by Milivojevic. But he just he just can't. He can't pass a football, and it's worrying. Eddie there will find Jean-Philippe Mateta now. Good ball roll. Mateta straight at the Bravka. Nice play from him, but straight at the keeper. Mateta's found there. Eddie and Ketia waited for Zaha. Surely, what a save. The Bravka keeping Newcastle in it now. Oh, they've made a mistake. Mayher, that's a good ball there from Eddie, and we will score this time, and Eddie will get his first assist for Crystal Palace, and that is 2-0 going in at the half. 
And thank you, the football gods. We needed this great tackle again from Milivojevic. And that is actually a really good pass there from Eddie and Ketia to find Meyer to slot it into the back of the net and give us a 2-0 lead. 2-0 lead here at the half. And that is massive for us. Jean-Philippe Mateta having a very good game. I'm really happy that he managed to find himself a goal. He's looked really good in this one. He's probably the one of the two strikers at the moment I'd be expecting to step up into Batshuayi's shoes, considering having a season to settle. And he's looked decent today. Jean-Philippe Mateta has been played in again, surely, for another. And it is. Cool, calm, collected today. Eddie Nketiah will get a brace of assists. And Jean-Philippe Mateta will get a brace of goals. Lovely ball to him. And he was always going to slot this home. He's pretty confident at the minute. Going for a little bit of a goal-scoring spurt, and we love it. Double sub here, Shaq coming on for Milivojevic, and Zaha coming off. You've got to rest your key players when you're 3-0 up. You really do. Let's get Van Bergen on, getting some more game time. He's a little bit unhappy at the moment with the amount of game time he's had. And I understand it's probably difficult for him because he's playing on the same side as well, Wilfred Zaha, which is always going to make life more difficult. This is a nice bit of play, though. Jamie Shackleton. Still going, Jamie Shackleton. Still going, Jamie Shackleton. And a save from mine, Dubravka. Brilliant save. I do really enjoy using Jamie Shackleton, though. To say he's 68 rated, he's very fun to use. Oh, that's lovely from Van Bergen. Eddie Nketiah then back to him. This is lovely play. Mitchell Van Bergen. Mitchell Van Bergen. Eddie Nketiah for his first goal in Palace Colours. Made by Van Bergen, if we're being honest. But just great play to get us out from the back. Great play to get us out. And look at that. The boys are chuffed for him. Eddie finally gets his first goal here in a Palace shirt. And let's hope for many, many more. There we go, lads. Full time. And a fantastic result here for Palace against Newcastle. They'll be very frustrated that they couldn't get anything going today. But more than anything, with the three at the back... Well, five at the back for the majority of the game. It just did not work for them today. Jean-Philippe Mateta picking himself two goals up. We've got two assists and a goal for Eddie Nketiah. Just an all-around great performance after that Brighton one. I guess we kind of got the easier games out of the way because the next two are Man City and Arsenal. So this is going to be very difficult. This is the lineup. Of course, we tend to play this formation when we're playing against the bigger sides. Matty Grimes is back in for the first time since his injury. I hope he can have a really good performance today. We're still trying to get his match sharpness back. But we need him. They're tired, so maybe because they're tired, we beat Man City. Another little bonus for this one as well is that we're at home. So, you know, home advantage is big. Is it big when you're playing against Man City? I suppose that's a big question, right? But it is big, and maybe that helps us today when we take on Man City. So they're tired, and we're at home. They are my main reasons for why we might win this game. Might is the key word there, I reckon. This could go badly. Bernardo Silva now coming forward. We haven't exactly been the prime example of defense in this episode as Kun Aguero now comes. Sorry, Bernardo Silva. He's going to land it down to Aguero. He's going to make it 1-0 only six minutes in. We were completely all out of sorts. And yeah, as I say, I haven't really shown great defense in this episode. And we've been undone already here by Man City. This could be a very tough one. I mean, it should be. I am very happy with where the sliders are at the moment. It's difficult. Oh, but this could be a big scoreline. May now. Milivojevic. Can he do? Oh, tried to fire off a shot. It was the wrong decision. Definitely the wrong choice. We're still in ninth, though. Which is nice. Climbing the table thanks to the Newcastle result. Handball there. And hopefully... You know, if we could finish in ninth, we've got, what, like five or six games left of the season. This one included. If we could finish ninth, that'd be a really big season for us, I think. Not where I would have expected us to all finish. There's still going to be a lot of work. Oh, wow. Aguero's a nightmare to deal with. They're in again here. Mares, good footwork. Please just make a mistake. <laughs> we can't get the ball away, though. There's just so many bodies in there, and Tavernier's done brilliantly. Tavernier's done fantastic there. If we can get a breakaway, it might lead to a goal, but passes forward like that are not going to endear the back line to me and they've not done well this episode and now I am worried if I'm being honest with you because I just don't feel like we can get anything out of this one oh Mateta's done great there Mayer Mayer oh he's saved by Edison it's not his strong suit shooting is not his strong suit I think he should have tried to play this over to Matt Grimes if I'm being honest with you he was being tightly marked but that's an opportunity and I don't think we'll get many of them well, let's whip a corner in 
We could do. Get it into Jean Philippe Mateta. He's too close to the goalkeeper again, which most of them have been in this episode. We'll play that to Wilfred Zaha. Mayer back into Zaha. Oh, he tried to play that cheeky back heel to Matt Grimes. Couldn't find him. Tavernier now. Matty Grimes. Good bit of football, this. Milivojevic. Played it into Mayer. Can he do now? Oh, it's just. They're actually defending really well, which is just annoying me. If he can slide it in, he does. Elise! Oh, he's saved by Edison. I kind of would have preferred anyone there but Elise. Let's drop it back down. Elise again now with the outside of the foot. Just couldn't catch it. And we're actually putting Man City under some pressure here. Oh, they've done really well here. Carl Walker whips it across. Oh, and Aguero hit it off the back of the Bruyne's head. Pep isn't happy with that. I thought that was surely going to be another goal. Reem Sterling now coming for... Oh, that's lovely. Kevin De Bruyne. What a save from Guaita. What a save. On the brink of half time as well. That will be the first half. And although we did just knock on the door gently, gently to be fair, it is still 1 0 Manchester City. Sergio Aguero with the goal. Well, at least he's played in Matt Grimes here. This could be dangerous. Grimes still going. Play that back to Mayer. And then we've got runners. Mayer back across to Grimes. Grimes with a shot. Oh, I thought that was in. Just over the bar. My Grimes. Oh, that's so close. Oh, he caught it so nicely. What a goal back that would have been for him. Oh, De Bruyne has done well there. Bernardo. Oh, what a save from Guaita. I didn't have much help there. Tompkins had gone out to make the tackle. Pep might be kicking himself, though, here. If we manage to bag a goal, we have shown that we can create in behind their back line. Jao Concello coming off now. Bernat coming on. Corner Man City. See what they can do with it. It's not a bad ball in. Oh, my God. Get it out. Get it out. Whoo. So to get a little bit nervous there. That might be a terrible ball. That is a great header from Elise. Can Matt Grimes get away? He can. And now the question is probably going to be, what are his options? And he's played it. Oh, he's been fouled, surely. How has the ref not given... <laughs> How has Jamie Vardy just been allowed to go through the back of him? And the ref's just got... I didn't see anything, mate. Come on, ref. Oh, Milivojevic did brilliantly there. Milivojevic did brilliantly there. Now you've got Wilfred Zaha making his run. Wilfred Zaha. He knows if the ball's good, Mateta will finish it. Jean-Philippe Mateta from the Wilfred Zaha pass will make it 1-1 against Manchester City here at Selhurst Park. And the crowd go absolutely wild. What a goal. I knew if I put it on a dime for him, the form that Mateta is in, this is going in the back of the net. And that's exactly what happened. It weren't the cleanest of strikes, but we will take it. Well, nine goals now in the Premiership here for Jean-Philippe Mateta. And that's big for him. He took a little while to settle. He's looking very good. Now, the question is, is do we approach to buy him? Let me know, boys. I, I think it could be the right decision because we can approach to buy him now. We couldn't with Batshuayi for whatever reason. But with Jean-Philippe Mateta, I can buy him now if we want. Oh, well, he's, he's managed to win the ball back there. I don't know how he did it. And Mayer now. we will play that one into Jamie Shackleton. Good footwork. He's going to play it into a hole for Wilfred Zaha. He was going to play it across for Jean-Philippe Mateta. And imagine if that had been two just like that. Pep would have been fuming. Man City not looking so great at the moment. This is good play again from Palace now. We're really exploiting this wing. We are really exploiting this wing. Jean-Philippe Mateta. It wasn't the right choice. It was way too late. He was offside anyway. Not the smartest of choices there from Ferguson. Not been on the pitch for long. Could have been the moment for two, couldn't it? Oh, this is great play now for Man City. Guaita needed to get there, and he didn't. And in added on time, our hearts are going to be crushed. Kevin De Bruyne with the goal. He'll go to his manager. Devastated. A couple of opportunities for us to actually take the lead, and Man City are going to do it at the end of the match. This was the move that took Kiate out of the play and left the room for Kevin De Bruyne. Kiate has been great for us all season. I can't blame him too much. Well, what a crushing blow that was right at the end of the game. Just a lapse of concentration. Just fell asleep a little bit at the back as we were pushing to try and get the win. And in the end, the experience of Man City as a winning side showed. A 2-1 defeat here, but I think we really did ourselves proud regardless. Some great performances out there. I can't be too unhappy. Just feels like 
Points lost, considering the scoreline up until that 90th minute goal. Here we go, then, boys. Final game of the episode, and it is an opportunity for Mr. Eddie Inketia to go and get some goals against his old club. Now, because we're taking on Arsenal, a team that we rebuilt recently. If you haven't checked it out, go and watch it on the channel. It's a really fun video. It's a long one, though. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. Sit down with it. You know what I mean? Relax. Put it on in the background. Play a game while you watch it. I don't know. But it's a good, fun rebuild. I really enjoyed it. It took me a long time to do, though. They do have Rafael Santos Bore up top for them, which is interesting to see. Let's see how we get on again. This is one of those quote-unquote free hits we played so well against man city let's see if we can do the same against arsenal but well, we do negate the idea today that we had of home advantage though that will go to arsenal which sucks a little bit because that was the whole premise behind why we could get a good result against manchester city it's raining today which might play into our hands they're a pretty neat and tidy football inside and it's not as easy to move the ball on a wet pitch which will give us the advantage today to get a decent result Great ball played forward here now. Pepe. Vasheko. Causing me some problems here early. Doors and they're in. Santos ball was always going to score that. They just pulled my defenders completely out of position. We were never going to stop that going in. And it's becoming a bit of a theme at the moment that we concede early goals. Especially in the 4-4-2. Although we did concede an early goal there against uh, Man City. We just pulled out of position. Odegaard pulled Tompkins out of position. No one was marking. Two players in the box that no one was near. Oh, that's a great touch. Back to Mateta. Oh, what a defensive play that is from Arsenal. I thought he was in. Me, me eyes lit up. Well, you can see them. But they did. They lit up there. Seven appearances. Two goals for Rafael Santos. So far. How is that not a corner? Okay. I thought that would have been a corner for sure, man. Oh, Wilfred Zaha has done really well there. Eddie and Ketia. Mateta, maybe. It's got to be good. Back across. And the ball across just wasn't right there, was it? Maybe we should have shot from that angle. We have scored from those angles before, but since I improved the goalkeepers in terms of sliders, it's been a lot more difficult to bang them in from there. Mayer now. Oh, that's lovely play. Wilfred Zahar, of course, caused so many problems in the last match. Managing to bag that cross for the goal against Man City. Mayer now. Go on, Milivojevic. You've got space to run into Luka Milivojevic. He's probably the only player, along with Jamie Shackleton, you don't want in that position. Just couldn't get a decent shot off. Oh, Wilfred's done great here to get that to Tavernier. The problem is, is who do we get it to in the box? The ball roll was lovely. And Eddie and Ketty was coming on to it. Maybe wasn't the choice of a shot that needed to be had there, if we're being honest. Probably could have pushed that a different way. Martinelli now streaming forward. Oh, Kiate has not done enough. Kiate has not done enough. And Martinelli's shot be saved by Guaita. Brilliant save. There we go. Pepe now coming forward. He's got the option. Oh, his footwork there was sublime. And Guaita will save it again. I cannot deal at the moment with Arsenal coming forward. And I'm thinking the 4-4-2 is definitely not the right choice against them. They're just playing through the lines far too easily. Corner it just before half time. Wilfred Zaha got a header on it. Martin Odegaard now. Can we get it out? Oh, it lands to him and he scores it. Well, it was coming. It really was. But it's just so frustrating that that's the way it happens. There's so many bodies in the box there. We get the block, but it lands straight back to Martin Odegaard. And I'll make this one 2-0. There goes the halftime whistle. And I'm not sure if it's actually saving us from more pain, to be honest with you. Arsenal have been very good here today. We're struggling to deal with their attack. I think we needed the DM in there. And I think it's my mistake for picking the 4-4-2. Uh, yeah, I think against the smaller sides, you can kind of get away with that. Against Arsenal, uh, you, you know, there's no one in there to mark Martin Odegaard. And uh, it's causing us a lot of problems. 2-0 lead for Arsenal. It is what it is. I mean, these again are kind of free hits, I guess. Eze. Jetro Willems, but no one's really made the run. In the centre, Eddie Nketiah is. Oh, my God, what a save that is from Matty Ryan. Eddie Nketiah probably can't understand how this hasn't gone in. I mean, he hits it so sweetly with power. And I, what a save. Reflex save. The ball whipped in here towards Mateta. Wasn't a good one, though, was it? Zaha. Cut wide now. Mayer. Milivojevic. Wanted to slide that one into Eze. He has done. Eze now took it on his other foot. Can he get it back across? We just can't. We just could not get the ball back across. Early pressure here on Arsenal, but it hasn't led to a goal. Eze now has been found again. He's probably been the most dangerous today. Can he do? Try and slot that one into Jean-Philippe Mateta. It just wasn't the run. Although there might be a run here by Mayer. And then I timed it wrong. 
he timed it wrong and the pass was just awful. And his passing range has been brilliant this season. But that one there to Eddie Nketiah, he was never going to be able to do anything with it. Although we've got a bit of space now. We've got a bit of space now. Maya now back. John Philippe Mateta. This could be one. That is one. Pick the ball up. There's time left, boys. John Philippe Mateta scores again. Well, Arsenal have made a little bit of a mistake here by giving us the ball in this position. And the big question will be is can we capitalise? Kiate's even getting forward here now. Philippe Mateta. We've got the run down out wide here from Jetro Willems. Jetro Willems now. Tries to pull that one back to Mateta. Oh, Matty Ryan saves it. It was a very tight angle. And Matty Ryan saves it. And he's probably saved Arsenal today. Oh, here we go. We've pushed for it. And Odegaard scores in added on time. Dreams are crushed. And, I mean, this is what happens when you go for the game. We've really, really gone for it. we pushed bodies forward. And Arsenal get the goal on the breakaway. Frustrating. We've missed a couple of good opportunities. But... We were always going to be caught out. We were always going to be caught out. They've been too good for us today, Arsenal. And we go full time, and the scoreline says 3 1, but I don't think it tells the full story. I think Arsenal and Man City, that just isn't Mikel Arteta, is it? It just let's be honest, boys. That is an awful manager image. I never noticed that before, you know, but that is an awful man manager image. How are EA even getting away by passing that off as Mikel Arteta? Wow, lads. Anyway. Uh, I mean, we didn't expect to win it. I, I just felt like there were moments where we didn't have the quality that Arsenal had. Martin Odegaard was brilliant. Thank God he's not going to be there next season. I will see us slip back down into 10th, but that's fine. You know, mid-table is where we expected to be. Although Chelsea and Villa and that do have a game in hand. So, you know, we could slip even more. But there is now one month left of the season. And that leaves us with three games. Watford, Burnley, West Ham. Winnable games, as you can see, we lost two there towards the back end of the season against Manchester City and Arsenal. But I, I want this to be realistic. We need to be losing games. If we was winning every game, this would be extremely boring. I'm so happy that Mateta stepped into those shoes, though, up top and actually done well. But anyway, boys, that's going to be it for this one. It will be the end of season final games and then round up in the next episode. So make sure you don't miss that one. I appreciate the support as per usual. If you are new around here, please smash the subscribe button. Ding dong, the note of faith. Vacation belt bloody bad english from me there at the end i'm out of it boys i'm out of it i've recorded four videos today it's been a busy one after catching up after a big uh, a big weekend where i reset my sleep schedule boys it was bad and i also did a 12 hour stream so we're kind of resetting today and this is video number four of the day so i'm ready to go and sit down for a bit take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one